Okay, and we're back in Photoshop here. Um, and don't worry, it hasn't been like 18 years since the last one. Uh, so now what we're going to do is... By the way, this is what my line art looks like when it comes in from Manga Studio. So we are going to... Sorry, just making sure some settings were correct. Okay, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the shading. We're going to turn off the flats. And we're going to turn off the sketches. We're going to put those down here so I don't have to look at them while they work. I don't want to look at them. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to steal back that purple layer. You can't see what I'm doing over here. Don't worry, it's pointless. <laughs> no, Emmy, please! We want to see. We want to learn. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Um, uh, erase erase the original inks where we don't want them anymore and leave the rest of it alone where we do so uh, I want to get rid of this we moved her belly button a little bit so we're going to get rid of that get rid of all this crotchal uh, actually I'm going to Keep that line. That's a nice line right there. But the rest of the crotch has got to go. And then we're going to get rid of this. And this. got rid of too much. So we're just going to fix it. No big deal. And then we're just going to put like a little bump right there to imply that that's like the edge of the swimsuit. Overall, it's not like horrendously noticeable, but it's there. Okay, we didn't really need to change her cleavage. We do, however, need to erase a little bit right there. Right there. This is probably going to be the hardest part, actually, is just integrating her new boobage. <laughs> um... Uh oh, I I feel that a child will begin screaming soon. I apologize. And then sorry, this is always like kind of the complicated part. I have to sort of think about what I'm keeping and getting rid of. The knee area. Just not that knee area. And let's see. Now what did I do here? Did I not went over something I didn't need to, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that, it's no big deal. And then we're gonna clean that up. I kinda like over I don't know if I was, like, trying to slim out her calves or not. I didn't, like... I wasn't thinking. I was inking madly without purpose. Well, I don't think it looks bad.
Okay. So we're going to get rid of the rose head. <laughs> There is some stuff here where I was just like, I don't even know what I was attempting or... <sighs> don't worry, uh, or... Man, I said that, we were like, don't worry, come with me! Anyway, uh, don't worry, I kept the original so that once I'm done pecking away at the ink in here we can sort of compare and contrast. I love doing that. I'm very much a before and after kind of person. Also, I recommend that if you have like an hour or two to kill and you're just not feeling your art that day or whatever, I recommend doing this. And I mean like really concentrating at it. <laughs> not just like kind of half-ass in a new version of an old piece, but uh, really sitting there thinking about how to improve it and whatnot. I used to like, when I redrew stuff, I wouldn't really think about it. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I would just kind of like mechanically trace over it and like adjust a few things and then be done with it. But once I start coloring, you'll kind of see what I mean when I say like really try to like think of new ways to improve it, like to improve the coloring and things like that. So... Okay, uh, one last thing. Uh, all right. Let me step back and look at it here. I like it. <sighs> I think it looks good. Now, <laughs> we are going to fix... We are going to fix the um, the coloring, like the, the flats, the flats, the flats, that's what I meant to say. First what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure everything that needs to be out is out and everything that needs to be in is in. I sound like the Mafia. 
Once you're in, you're in. Then I'm just going to pick some color like red, I guess. Um, the reason I picked red was mostly just so I could see it. Um, it's actually the same rub that I use for Rose's hair. I just have my uh, Try and Human palette open. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to go in. Uh, the line art is still on its own layer. Um, I also have like a free version up here that I'm winking on and off now. Okay, so I have two versions of my line art. And this one is going to um, be collapsed down eventually on my uh, flats. Uh, so what color did I pick? Okay, first of all, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so basically, all we're doing, I know I say that a lot, we are just fixing little areas that we changed when we corrected the, uh, when we corrected our inking. Uh, I think that looks good. Oh, we just need to do her eyes. And I kind of went over Shade's lipstick a little bit. It's kind of hard to like talk about art when you have characters that are named after like common art terms like shade, and tone, and hue, pigment. So that's more of like a paint word. So then I'm just going to get rid of that. She didn't, okay, I was just making sure she didn't have eye makeup on. I think that looks good. Uh, let's see. So this is our shading, which we also need to correct. The shading is usually the part that takes the longest, and I'm base uh, basically. I'm just going to have to kind of dig in here and start uh, fixing things. So, yeah, I know this isn't like the most exciting video ever, but hopefully some of you find it fun or relaxing or something. I know uh, not all of you are artists and a lot of you just watch my videos just to have noise in the background. I'm like that. I watch like tons of people play um, video games and stuff while I work, um, even if they're not like, you know, OMG so talented at the game or, you know. Like, I mentioned a Let's Player. I'm trying to think who it was now. I kind of don't want to say again, just in case what I say is offensive, but... Or hurts their feelings or something. But I mentioned them, I think, in a video, and somebody said, Oh, their videos aren't really that funny. They're kind of just, like, whatever. They're just playing the game. You know? And I, I get that. But I don't mind that. I don't need to be yucking my guts out, you know, when I'm trying to work. Um...
In fact, um, some a lot of nights before I go to bed, I sit up with my laptop in bed and I watch uh, YouTube videos. And it just so happens that a lot of times before I go to bed, Rooster Teeth puts out a new video. And I was sitting up watching one the other night and I just like could not stop laughing. And Dave rolled over and he goes, Em, can you watch that later? Because I was laughing so hard. See, my humor and joy is a tiresome burden to others. <laughs> I hope Dave watches this later and he's like, oh, come on, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so the shade in here is all different. Ugh. I don't know why, but the shading just looks so wobbly to me. I mean, my, my shading's not like the smoothest thing ever, but I don't know. This seems excessive in its badness. <laughs> Man, I wish there were some other Let's Drawers out there that I could, like, collab with. Like, we could use Open Canvas or something and, like, talk and chat and, and stuff while, you know, like, the same way that Let's Players do their collabs. I want that. I want a friend. <laughs> Ugh, some of this is just not good. It is just not good. In fact, yeah, if you're a Let's Drawer, like you have your own YouTube channel and you would like to do a collab or something, hit me up and we'll talk about it. I only know of a few other people who draw and upload videos to YouTube and a lot of them don't even update that often anymore, so I'd feel kind of like a dink. if I, like, kind of pulled somebody out of, like, pseudo let's draw retirement. <laughs> I have a few really good friends who all draw, but they don't do YouTube stuff. And I don't want to, like, make them do a video with me if they would feel uncomfortable. I don't like that anymore. I think I was trying to like put lines on Shade's belly originally because sometimes when you do that it makes characters look um well, depending on what kind of lines they are, it can sometimes make them look a little like like putting them here, like extending from sort of like the groin pelvis region makes them look a little skinnier and she's supposed to be sort of a lanky character though I draw her sort of full figured she's a little straighter in the hips and stuff than I would draw like Gracilis or Rose but 
They kind of have like anime anatomy. <laughs> or it's like barely different. That's okay. It reminds me of Naoko here at Sailor Moon, and she always used to say, I think it was either in an interview or it's in the materials collection. She noted that um, Sailor Moon, Saki Sukino, the main character, is supposed to be like a little chubbier than the other girls, but like it doesn't show at all in the art. It's just like this perceived thing about the character I guess like you have to use your imagination you know that's kind of like how my older earlier work is and how trying human still is because I haven't changed it to keep consistency but oh well that's life Ugh, there's some weird things going on. I know I've said this before, but I, it probably looks even weirder to me because I'm working over like old shading. So I'm just like, what happening? This is weird, you know? Man, I remember when I first started shading kind of angularly. I don't shade like super angularly, but I, I do incorporate like a lot of trapezoid and uh, triangles and squares and stuff in my work. And I read a tutorial a long time ago that like compared different like anime shading. And one of the things it pointed out was that Naruto used like mini triangles in a lot of areas. Um... And I'm not, like, a huge Naruto fan or anything, but I just thought that was really interesting. And so, like, I started trying, like, little triangular sort of shapes here and there, and I realized, wow, that really does, like, make a difference, like, so far as making your clothing look like clothing and things like that. I, I don't know. A little bit of random Emmy trivia. I always tell when a video is finishing uploading because my computer just goes blah. <laughs> my lines all start blobbing up. It's kind of weird for me to like draw a shade in her human form with long hair, this this character here. Because, like, later I, um, she kind of gives herself a trim. She's actually an alien. I, I know, like, a lot of you probably aren't really familiar with this comic or anything. You probably know me through my Minecraft art, but she's actually, like, an alien, and they use these uh, things to disguise themselves with. But, uh, anyway, uh, and later she kind of makes her disguise have like a haircut so she has shorter hair and that's kind of where I am in writing it is like way way later than everybody else like I'm I'm done with the story I'm all I'm working on other other stuff and uh other um short stories that go along with trying human but anyway so like it's kind of like always like a little bit like whoa we're back here now <laughs> like working on old stuff with her
like that. Alright, let's uh, put some detail on these flowers. Now, I normally only work with three layers of shading. So, like, a highlight, a mid-tone, and then the darkest color. And that it. I don't like going any more than that. I think it, like, overcomplicates my style. Like, or, it overcomplicates the drawing, and my style doesn't really match that. Like, the trying human style is kind of simple and cartoony and whatever. <laughs> and whatever. That is uh, professionalese for, I don't give a shit, <laughs> what I'm saying right now. So. Just cleaning up the fleurs. I didn't do a very good job on these at the get-go. I actually really like drawing flowers. Um, it's one of my favorite things to draw. And I never, like, get a chance to draw them. So I incorporate all these flowers into trying human artwork. And it's kind of weird because it's, like, this sci-fi comic. And it's, like, all these, like, fucking posies and shit. Ugh. Fucking posies! Alrighty, um, let's back up. Let me itch my side. Ah, <laughs> ah itched side is itched. Okay, so this needs to be on a little bit. Perfect. And this needs to be touched up. There's Yeah, why is that so dark? It doesn't need to be. Oh man, I have a tab of this tab of the takes over on there. Holy shit. I'm Ah, oh, I got back from my trip recently and I have a TiVo. I've got all this stuff recorded. Oh my god, I got so much stuff I gotta watch. <laughs> I had like a little mental breakdown there, like, yay, stuff. Oh my god, am I on the wrong layer? I'm totally on the wrong layer, aren't I? Ugh, I'm such a dingle. Hold on. Okay, good. <laughs> I saved it, no problem. <sighs> I think this looks really nice. Nice. I'm just sort of scoping it out. So now there are like a, f a few things here we gotta delete. So let's turn contiguous off.
Oh man, I didn't shade her mouth or anything. Okay, I want to go like way lighter. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, we are going to shade the all oh, forgot her gem. There we go. So now we are going to Okay, so I do have some shading. Okay, so this is shines, and this is lines. I don't want to keep the lines. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to duplicate the shine layer and put it on in the original. Thank you for being patient with me while I keep everything all organized. And then we are gonna do some cleanup. Uh, I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm trying to keep it as light and fun as I can. So this is all good. That's all good. This all looks good. I remember I wanted this to have a little shine on it too. I think that's pretty good. I think um, just for this picture, I don't like to do this. I like I don't like to change from my my palette, but I want this to be like a lot more saturated on the inside of her mouth. I think that looks a lot better. Oh, and I wanted to change all this. I remember I didn't think this was like bright enough. I'm trying to think what would look good. I like a purpley pink. Sorry, I'm kind of like oversaturating a lot of the colors here, but I just felt like it wasn't poppy enough, especially for like a summer drawing. Even her skin looks kind of gray. I'm not sure what's going on there. It might be because I'm using blue. In 
fact, let's put some like blush on on her. Cause I know she would tan. The other two probably not, cause they're aliens and they're freaks. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so now we're going to color the lines. Oh, I'm sorry this video is just going on forever and ever. So the easiest way to color your line art is to make a new layer above it and then uh, right click on it and say, uh, I think it says make clipping mask or convert to clipping mask. Um, right now for me it says release clipping mask. But then all you have to do is just color in that layer wherever you want and it doesn't doesn't hurt the original line art. See, I can turn that on and off still. Um, I used to be bold and just like be like, eh, whatever, and color my line art. Now I try to run the road of a little more um, preservation, I guess you could say, just because I'm a little um, nervous about like if I had to like real quickly make a change like if something went wrong and I wouldn't it would take me a while to like be able to get it, get it back to its earlier state of like having black lines and whatnot so now I try to not be quite as rambunctious in my art construction so to speak I don't know. I think the uh, the colored lines kind of like add something to it. It kind of like helps pull it away. I think a little bit from the the line art that like defines the characters, the the black lines. I feel like whenever I say the word black line I'm saying something else I don't know like the title of like a a book she crossed the black line Oh, Rose. <laughs> I get like, I'm like, oh, wow, I totally don't want to color any more lines. 
but I know it'll be worth it. I'm actually going to select these, and then I'm going to expand by about four pixels. Wee! <laughs> I'm kind of like, ah! I actually think this is probably one of my favorite parts, but I'm being a little stink about it right now. Okay, so now we're going to do the inter two, which is the part I've been really, really, really looking forward to. Because before it was just so not happening. I don't know, it looks so pedestrian. Like, it just needed like a real kick in the ass. <laughs> So this is almost a little too not pedestrian. <laughs> it's kind of making my retinas detach a little bit, so we're just going to darken it, I think, a teeny. color. Did I color any place on her? Dark? There we go. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, she got her bone. Okay, sorry. thought my dog was trying to claw through the wall or something. Tiny children's running around outside. And, okay, so now I'm going to do her flowers, and I think that'll about be it.
Man, I have so much music stuck in my head right now. I want to go on a walk. Listen to my Muzak. Do you ever have that where you just feel like you just gotta dance? <laughs> no, I don't really dance, but I do groove intensely. It would help if I had the other part selected as well. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I sound like a tiny child. And I think I'm going to put a gradient on it to This is my favorite gradient. I use it a lot. You know, I actually am going to save it. Bam. I'm actually going to make it go in the right way. Come on, reverse it, man. Reverse it, man. There it goes. Now, I'm not sure. I always change, like, how I use it, so I'm not sure what, like, layer setting I'm going to have it on it. Ooh. What's that soft light? Ooh, hard light. You hunk of burn and love you. I like some of these. Oh my god, I can't choose. These are all so great. Okay, let's try soft light, but let's make... Don't you wind back there. Let's make the colors more intense. Okay, so I think that's the new one. Oh, and real quick, like I promised, um, let me show you the before and after. So this is what we just did, obviously, and then there's the old one. So it's not a major, major touch-up, but it's still, it's still something worth noting. <laughs> um... I should probably also uh, make that darker. I don't know. I feel like everything's a lot nicer looking now. Everything's like tucked up. Rose's face has been like majorly cleaned up. Yeah, her face. Wow, let's look at that close up. Sorry, I, if this uh, hurts your eyes or something, don't look. <laughs> uh, her her face looks like somebody took it and kind of like smeared it that way, and now I've like fixed it. She looks much more plump. Yeah, definitely a big improvement. Hand, not so much, but a little better. <laughs> I probably should have spent some more time on that. Um, oops, some of the shine over here is escaping. I wondered what that was. I think I'm also going to motion blur. the waves just for fun
I think I'm also going to put, <laughs> I could do this for forever. I could just be like, mm, okay, now I'm going to add this. Uh, no, but no, seriously, I think I'm going to add some like spray. Okay, not that much blur though. I like it. I do indeed. Yeah, I could probably like sit here and like touch up a ton of this all night, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> but I do. Mm. I don't know if I like that color overlay or not. I like it where it's red, so maybe I'll just leave it red. Yeah, I think I, I don't know. None of these are making me happy. Well, I think that's good, though. I mean, I think, like, that'll do. <laughs> I do think I could, like, pump up the color. way more than that, but yeah, I think it's better. Okay, anyway, I'm going to upload this now, both the video and the drawing, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!